let's pop off. All right. Huh, this should be interesting. Our Hearthstone highlight today comes as a result of a request from one of our viewers to build a Mana Addict and Master of Disguise Galakron Rogue deck. So this deck is designed to get value out of Mana Addict when she survives on board with help from Master of Disguise. And then we drop Umbral Skulker and play out all the coins, Shadow Step the Umbral Skulker, and get a bunch of buffed damage to smack our opponent in the face. So if you have all the coins and shadow steps played in one turn, you can actually turn Mana Addict into a 29 attack minion. And if you happen to have a Praise Galakrond or Sap in your hand, you can turn it into over 30 damage. One thing that's really nice about this deck is that you can still win even if you don't pull off the full combo because it's just that strong. Now this combo is quite challenging, and as you'll see, spoiler alert, in the second game, uh, it can be messed up pretty easily, so keep that in mind when playing through this deck. One other thing we tried was cutting a Sky of a Tear for a Heist Baron Togwaggle to improve our cycle through the deck or give us an alternate win condition, but the win rate with that version tanked, so I can't quite recommend that one. But we had some amazing games with this, so check out this highlight and let me know what you think. Okay, if our first opponent is a priest or a druid, I am so happy to be able to threaten them. <laughs> Hunter! Okay, we will threaten after we drop our one drop. Ooh, and Spy Mistress is a great starter. Shield the Galakrond a little bit slow. Beaming sidekick actually could help us fight for the board early on to survive long enough to pull our combo pieces together. But let's try to get Sky of a Tear or our Dirty Trick, something like that that's going to help us cycle through the deck. So that'll be a little bit better. Hopefully this will be sufficient to help us fight for the board. Okay, there we go. That's better for fighting. All right, there's combo piece number one. We want Mana Addict, let's see, turn six at the earliest. We need two invokes before we go ahead and toss her out there. Doing good, mending fences this morning. Literally, not figuratively. <laughs> That's good. Um, honestly, I don't care about that. I'm just not gonna attack. We do have Greyheart Sage. Um, next turn I can dagger up. I did wanna get this out there though. Eh, okay. And that's a much better trade. Okay, shield of Galakrond. Since we don't have Greyheart Sage in hand, I'm gonna go ahead and attack with this. We do get punished if we top deck it, but um... Okay, we can finish that off with the dagger. Seal Fate. Aww. Alright. But yeah, actually, if we get th Wait, wait. So you're f mending fences, literally. For cows, or... Because I know you're in Texas and you've got some cows roaming your property. Oh, right. Need to threaten. I will be your <laughs> Awkward timing, but, uh... There we go. It... We have threatened our opponent. <laughs> and now he thinks we're... Oh, he's face hunter. Never mind. He deserves to be threatened. <laughs> or we we could... Wait. Cult Neophyte? In a face hunt? Huh. All right. Since we have Galakrond in hand, well, we could seal fate. I'm not terribly eager to take four damage to my face. By the way, he hasn't used his hero power this entire time. I wonder if he's setting up for a Dragon Bane, though he might have played it there. I can't afford to play the Lackey off of this, but I can afford to play this Lackey. Maybe it gives me Cobalt or Rush, which would... Well, Rush doesn't actually help me. <laughs> uh... So this version does not have Togwaggle? 
If this survives on the board, I can shadow step it in worst case scenario, but we want shadow step for the um, umbral skulkers. Yeah, cattle, they had battered down a section, and we had another spot where the top two wires had snapped. Oof, fun. Yikes. Okay. All right, so seal fate would have been good against that, but if we had left that 4-4 four four up, Okay, can he dump his entire hand, or is he just going to draw two? He's just going to draw two. But we have to kill that. If we can. I'm not terribly eager to sap that. I need a good lackey. Believe it or not, I think I am going to rush this, because allowing him to draw through his deck like mad, not ideal. We lose value, but he has taken some damage, and we only need a certain size. Yeah, let's rush this in. That's fine. He can hero power this down a bit. Alright, so once we get Umber Skulker, it's active. How much damage do we need off of Umber Skulker? So right now, 11. We've used one of our Shadow Steps. We don't have an Umber Skulker in hand. Never mind. I can draw two cards and gain five armor. I could just drop it here and then kind of go next turn and put enough damage out there. To where he's low. I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Alright, we'll hold back a turn. And we'll be in a better spot. We might actually draw some more spells like Dirty Tricks or something. Or Mana Attic number two. Ah, oh, more expensive Shadow Step. Amazing. Oh wait, actually, shoot. Uh, I missed a face damage. I should have sent one face, because uh, he had the trade there. So there was no point to bumping in there. The Wolpertinger surviving on board. Whew, it is Highlander, okay. Uh, he can't afford to play this back out next turn. So, I have enough mana to Mana Addict. Alright, how big can we get Mana Addict? We, if the 4-4 survives, we can get her pretty big. By the way, what in the world? Toxic Reinforcements in a Highlander deck. Does he have the uh, Crescent whatever that causes your uh, minions to attack? No. Alright. Let's pop off. We built her up to 20 attack. Not bad. I like it. Wow, against a druid. Yeah, we're going to need some early presence. We need... We can bounce one of the guardian animals minions. Which they'll probably get, even though it's 7 mana, on turn like 4. Uh, if he's got excellent... RNG. We didn't get good RNG uh, for card draw. But they do want to ramp, so playing dirty tricks here is amazing. 
Okay. Hopefully he triggers it and we get a... Yeah, he did. Okay. Spy mistress? No? Okay. In which case, we will... Seal fade his face. And we still don't overdraw. Okay. We have two combo pieces in hand. So we have Mana Addict and Master of Disguise. If I coin Greyheart, then we draw two cards, we're back to nine. Yeah, that's okay. And it's board presence to help us fight. Um, so he has Wild Growth and Overgrowth. As long as he doesn't get a Thresher off of a Guardian Animals here, we're okay. Now he just... Oh, never mind. <laughs> sure. I can still sap that. It may be worth... And ah, uh, we milled a card. Okay, Galakrond is not our win condition. But we will need to save our lackeys in order to get high spare and toggle value. Alright. Unless he's got another broom. Well, actually it doesn't matter because we don't have another target on the board. The one sad thing about that is we most likely will have something else on the board with Mana Addict. We're going to need some space in hand for the coins from Umbra Skulker. They're most likely going to have Bog Beam and things like that that require targeting. So yeah, something that we can dump relatively easily is not bad. And I am actually going to go ahead and hit here. If I go face... He's got the Iron Bark or whatever that could buff that out of range um, of dying. And then he just runs in, or also does enough damage, yeah, or something like that. Fortunately, wow, awesome, thank you. Uh, yeah, I know you wanted card draw, but you just sank five damage and killed your minion off. Was that actually worth it? I think we have time to pull this combo, so let's do it. I am going to need to dump some cards, but that's for another turn. Oh, no, wait. Actually, I am going to overdraw, unless I shadow step something. Because I'm going to get... Okay, fine. This fight's for the board. If I had two mana, I would... Beaming sidekick and rush lackey. Hey, I got you, friend. Okay. Now this survives against the four five. He has to commit more to the board if he wants to kill it. If he doesn't just go face. Um, if he's got survival instincts, which he doesn't, if he's targeting something of mine, uh, then we're okay. Lake Thresher number two. He would need another animated broomstick to get value out of it, so no. He did have another animated broomstick. He's gonna mill a card or two, I'm pretty sure. What'd he burn? No? Oh, okay, never mind. He did dump enough. Oh, he healed. Okay, that's why he said wild miscalculation. I was trying to figure out why. Uh, yeah. So now he has to face tank, and it's just enough, yeah, okay. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and do... 
if High Sparin survives, it's gonna be nice to be able to evolve it. Okay. All right. We haven't drawn either of our Umbro Skulkers. Actually, he's always gonna survive. So yeah, let's turn him into something bigger. Well, at least it can kill a big druid minion, even if it does buff it. Like bo or, uh, Iron Bark. So as long as he doesn't get a bunch of rush minions off of Exotic Mount Cellar, we can kill Exotic Mount Cellar most of the time. We've played one of our saps. But not the other. We could fill his deck with a bunch of semi-useless cards for him. Oh, but man, that Wondrous Wand? Elik is terrible. Okay, there's Umbral Skulker. So I can fill his deck with a bunch of coins. Am I dead if I don't deal with this board? I can kill that. Why didn't he attack that in? So I can kill this. He's going to have a 4-4 left over. He has to kill this off to get value out of it, so he's not going to top deck it. Alright, he currently has 9, 10, 15 damage out there. So if he's got like Alex Straza, I'm dead. Gotta go to work, catch you later. Uh, okay, SFX Wiz, thank you for hanging out. And uh, I hope you did get to see the golden uh, uh, Keymaster Alabaster that we made. Um, so enjoy, and thank you for hanging out. Okay. So no, we're probably not dead here. And it looks like we're going to get to kind of go crazy and do a lot of damage. As long as we can get through all this stuff he's got on board. Okay. Seven. So we have to kill that too. Or get a sap. I can afford it. Gotta go quickly. Seal Fate almost gets us there. Actually, it may. Alright. Uh, Ethereal Lackey, if we can get damage, sap, great. Oh shoot, I'm out of mana. I should have played Umbra Skulker earlier. Um, okay. If I had played Umbra Skulker, before I ran out of mana, sorry, that was just my failure, operational error. Um, could we have still gotten through both taunts? That's the challenge. I was focused on getting through the taunts. 
Yes, because we would have had enough coins to still play the Ethereal Lackey and Sap. So that was Operator Error. That was a win, if I hadn't messed it up. And that's it this time. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to tap that like button, smash that subscribe button, and share your perspective in the comments below. We release videos here every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. And if you want to watch the experiments happening live, with the possibility of your comments showing up in a future video, check out our stream at twitch.tv forward slash ssalchemist. You're awesome. Thank you for watching, and have an awesome day.